as the world is witnessing the Russia Ukraine war and the war is progressing we have heard a lot many things and presently what in what is in news is the air defense system and how important it is for a country to have the air defense system hello and welcome to the in focus series section of drishti ias i am aisha singh and in today's video we will be discussing about how an air defense system works so let us move forward and before that let me tell you that on the occasion of diwali drishti ias is coming with 20% off on all online and pen drive courses and the offer period is between 22nd and 25th october so if you want to avail the course you can use the coupon code drishti or you can call on the given number so let us move forward and see the timeline of the video first we'll be looking at the news and then the increased air strikes by russia into ukraine then what are air defense systems and the different air def defense system in the world then about the s400 air defense system and what is its significance for india and then a prelims mcq and a mains practice question this topic is of relevance from general studies paper 3 defense technology from prelims or from mains you should be able to know that which air defense system belongs to which country and about the s400 air defense system from india's perspective so let's just see the news and this news has been taken from explained section and it says how air defense systems work and why ukraine wants more of them so from this news our main focus will be on that how the air defense system works how and what are the air defense systems see in a layman's term what do you understand by what is a air defense system and and i have always told you that whenever you move forward try to read the word very carefully so see this there are three words air defense and system so as the word itself is saying that there is a system which is meant for the defense of something and this defense happens in air so what happens is like imagine this is a country this is you can say india and this is another country and this country is trying to send its missile or trying to attack india or harm india by sending or launching different types of missiles so these are the missiles which are being launched by this second country to india which is the first country so what will the air defense system will do so now this country has launched several missiles so this defense system of india which will be placed so what will this system do this system will consist several radars and these radars will detect the trajectory of these missiles sent by second country and this system the air defense system of india will have several missiles located and the radars which will which will tell about the trajectory of the missiles sent by other country so these air defense system will target these missiles and will try to destroy these missiles in air and that is how the missiles will be destroyed and the first country which is like for example india will be able to save ourselves from the missiles sent by the other country to harm india so this is how the air defense system i would say in layman's term work and this is what you should also know that how the air defense system actually works now let us see that what is happening and why the air defense system is in news so what is recently happening is that ukraine and russia we all know that they are at war and ukraine is supported by the nato countries or the developed countries or the europe and russia is on the other hand and russia has now in present term or very recently has increased its air strike into ukraine so for that reason the ukraine is asking the nato countries or the europe or the us to send and deploy more of air defense resources so that ukraine will be able to protect themselves from the air strike which has been done by russia to them and should be able to protect their capital 
then why the increased air strikes by russia so russia has launched a large barrage of airborne weapons against a variety of targets in ukraine and especially at the capital city of ukraine that is kyiv and these are short range ballistic missiles and cruise missiles so these are the weapons or the missiles which has been deployed by russia and also the explosive drones so to protect themselves ukraine is asking the us and the european nations to supply them more of air defense system so that ukraine will be able to save itself from these short range ballistic missiles and cruise missiles now let us talk about that what is air defense system as i have told you in very simple language that what does it do then the air defense system is a system which has many components inside this and has several component inside this see air defense system does not consist of only single missile or only vehicle which is carrying those missile or a one interceptor or one radar or or a one you can say a system which is operating everything no it consist of all these things several different different components which combine together and form the air defense system and the most important that is thing that is present in the air defense system is the warning radars so these warning radars are located at ukraine's border see imagine this is our country this is ukraine at present so this the ukraine's border will consist of these early warning radars and these radars will detect the missiles which are coming from outside and they will first detect the approach of missile or the trajectory of the missile and further they will be tracked along their flight trajectory as i have told you that they will the radars will see that how they are coming and where they are coming so that the radars which are present on the border of the ukraine they will be able to give signal to its air defense system and the missiles present in them that till when and where to what height they will have to target then there is a dispersed network of additional radars also because every single radar has a job to perform and not a 1 2 or 3 5 or there should be many radars which should be deployed because they all have to do very different different jobs not a single job is associated with radars so for doing their job many types of different radars should be present then this is the primary defensive countermeasure that ukraine can take against the russia then the recent one which is present air defense system present is sam that is surface to air missile so what is the meaning of surface to air missile surface to air missile means that okay this is the missile vehicle so imagine there are six missile in this vehicle or you can say a container which is which is having missiles in it and this is and this target somewhere is present in air so these missiles will target these targets which is present in the air and this missiles is present in surface so this is surface to air missile and this running a air defense system is not an easy job or is not an easy feat because you have to maintain and keep in control so many different different equipments and you have to even make sure that these equipments are working properly so that they can hit the target at a at at a perfect time and they should not miss the target because even a single target gets missed so this will create a scared environment in the country which has which is being attacked now let us talk about that what which is the air defense system which is present in us and that is nasams that is national advanced surface to air missile system while well, us also has thard t h double a d and russia has s 400 and uh, india is also taking s 400 from russia while israel has air dom launcher now let us talk about the us nas ams and it is designed to counteract a variety of incoming 
threats and these threats can be cruise missile, aircraft and drones. So, it is not that only the missiles can be protected from the air defense system, that NAS, AMS can work against missiles, aircraft and drones and it contains 12 interceptor SAM and SAM is surface to air missile and these are few of the pictures of NAS, AMS. So this is how the missile is launched from the launcher or it comes out and this is the truck which has missiles kept on it. Now, now let us talk about Israel's famous iron dome. So, this is I would say the most famous air defense system that is iron dome. An iron dome defend against rockets and artillery shells and it is launched from up to 155 miles that is 250 kilometers away. An iron dome missile battery consists of 3 to 4 missile launchers then each with up to 20 interceptor SAM while well, see this has 12 interceptor SAMs and iron dome has 20 interceptor SAMs and around 90% kill rate is for rockets. So, see iron dome is famous because of its accuracy. So, if an air defense system has around 90% accuracy, it means it is running very high on accuracy and that is why it is considered to be one of the best air defense system plus it is old also. So, this is about the Israel iron dome system. You need to know that if in news you hear the word that what is iron dome. So, you should be able to know that what is iron dome. So, iron dome is associated with what? It is an air defense system. So, okay. See this image. See, this is the air defense system. So, first point in the air defense system is the radar detection unit. First and the foremost and the most important point is the radar detection unit because it is the radar detection unit which actually detects that whether the missiles are coming from whether the missiles are coming or not and what is the trajectory that is being followed by the missiles and what is how far it will be going at what height they are coming. Then what happens is there is a management and control room where which will keep a check on whatever information the radar is sending to them and this control and management panel or you can say the control and management room is the one which takes all the decision regarding the air defense system. Then comes the missile firing unit. So, this is the missile firing unit. So, from wherever the missile is coming this the missile firing unit will be given the instructions and then they will set their target regard to the missiles which is coming from outside and they will try to hit that missile. So, this is the interceptor, interceptor missile which will go and destroy the missile coming outside. This is how a defense system actually works and this is particularly about the iron dome system of Israel but normally also this is how the air defense system of a country works and this is also an image of the air defense system that see this these are the missiles which are coming and this is the interceptor missile which has been sent to destroy these missiles. Now, let us in short see the S-400 air defense system which we are taking from Russia. So, first you should be able to know that the S-400 air defense system we are taking from which country? That is Russia. So, it is a mobile surface to air missile system designed by Russia. Mobile means it can be moved from one place to another and surface to air is that the interceptor missile carrier will be placed on the surface and it will target the missile coming from outside. Then the system can engage all type of aerial targets including the aircraft, 
unmanned aerial vehicle, ballistic and cruise missiles. So, the missiles, aircraft and aerial vehicles can also be destroyed. And this works within the range of 400 kilometers and at an altitude of up to 30 kilometers. So, these are important details and S-400 air defense system was also being asked by UPSC in the mains examination. I don't exactly remember the year, but I think last year or last to last year, but S-400 was asked. Then it can track 100 airborne targets and can engage 6 of them simultaneously. So, this was in short about the S-400 air defense system. Now, what is the significance for it? The one and the foremost significance is that the China is also having it. So, it becomes much more important for India to have the air defense system not only with respect to China or our neighbor or our volatile neighbor that we have on both sides, but also as a country for our very own defense and for increasing the capability of our defense, we should be able to have our air defense system. Then let us talk about that what is VSHORADS and this was recently in news also and is this stands for very short range air defense system. The important word here is very short range, very short range and is a man portable air defense system. It, it is a man portable. It means it can be taken from one place to another place and it was designed and developed by DRDO, important point to remember. Then this will give further technological boost to our armed forces and this is basically, what is the purpose? The purpose is basically to neutralize low altitude aerial threats at short ranges. Important point to remember is this, that it is meant for neutralizing low altitude low altitude. So, the examiner can trick you here by saying high altitude, very high altitude, medium range altitude, but it is neutral, it is meant for neutralizing low altitude aerial threats at short ranges. Now, let us come to the prelims MCQ and you people need to tell me the answer in the comment section and this was a PYQ and was asked by UPSC in 2018 and it says, what is terminal high altitude area defense that is thought sometimes seen in the news? So, the options given are an Israeli radar system, India's indigenous anti-missile program and American anti-missile system or a defense collaboration between Japan and South Korea. And this is majorly how the question is being asked from the defense technology section. Now, the last part that is the mains practice question. This is a 10 marker and you can write that how is S-400 air defense system technically superior technically superior to any other system presently available in the world. So, you, you can actually compare S-400 with all the other defense systems that is present. Like for example, America's third or Israel Iron Dome system. So, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Till we meet next time, keep reading and keep writing.